joys of drinking brings on Mr. Winterbottom and Mr. Murgatroyd. You may know them better as Tommy Handley and Ronald Franco, but they're too full for words. So the last of our tales will be told by Mrs. Winterbottom and Mrs. Murgatroyd. Do you know by any chance, Mrs. Murgatroyd? Oh, well, I'm not certain. I'll look it up in the Radio Times. Oh, well, I'm definitely Mrs. Summerbase. Summerbase? Winterbottom. You know, I'm always getting things the wrong way round. So we meet at last. You know, you're not a bit what I expected you to be. Really? No. I always imagined you were attractive. <laughs> well, I knew you were. I suppose you've heard we've moved into a larger place. Oh, so you have two rooms now. Mm -hmm. uh, do you like this dress? It's a new model, you know. Yes, my sister had one exactly like it three years ago. Exactly like it? Even to the gravy marks. I was at a great white sale the other day. Oh, really? Now, if you want to get a bargain at the white sales, you must get up at sunrise. Oh, I prefer red sales in the sunset. Oh, all right. Don't make a song about it. Uh, did that costume cost too much? Oh, no. My husband said he'd give anything for peace. Mm. I bought a two-piece. Yes, and my husband expects me to dress on nothing. The bare idea. Now, how can you dress on nothing? Oh, I just sit on the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Dust? Thank goodness the holidays are over and the kids are back at school again. At least, I hope they are by now. Why, did you make a mistake? Yes, I sent the children on in advance and put the luggage to bed. <laughs> I suppose your older one's grown out of all recognition. My dear Mrs. Winterbottom, that boy's grown out of everything, even his ties. Has your boy changed much? Yes, he changed at Clatton Junction. I suppose your little girl, she takes after her father? Oh, she always has the first helping. Is she tied to your apron strings? Well, look when I get home. You know, that child is funny. Really? The other day, her father asked her what a polygon was. A polygon? Yes, and do you know what she said? No. She said she thought it was a dead parrot. <laughs> <laughs> what is a polygon? Well, uh, it's, um, it's a sort of... Um, oh, I know. It's a kind of Teddy Brown. How? A many-sided figure. <laughs> Speaking of figures, Mrs. Murgatroyd, how do you keep yours? The answer's a lemon. Squeezed over some fish. Throw the scales away and lose weight. Oh, my method is much simpler. Mm. I have a miniature silhouette made of myself. And then I'm reduced to a shadow. You know, although I'm no longer a slim girl, my husband thinks a lot of me. <laughs> well, he does a lot of things I have, he dear. Mm. Uh, you know, my husband hangs on my every word. Good gracious, a million hangings daily. He must be highly struck. Well, now, don't get bicker. Bicker what? Bicker quarrel. All right, let's be hey-hey. Hey-hey hey, what? Hey-hey, me hey, Speaking of hey, Mrs. Murgatroyd, do you ride? Oh, I don't know one end of the horse from another. Oh, I do. The front is the bit with the mouth in. Oh, I thought it was the mouth with the bit in. Oh, you may be right. But the only ones I've ever seen were gift horses, so I couldn't look those in the mouth, which is the main part of the horse. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. No, no, you're wrong, Mrs. Winterbottom. Really? Now, the main part of the horse is on the neck. Don't you love the way they prick their ears? In the gorse bushes, you mean? No, just before they whinny. What do they do before they lose it? Didn't I see you at Madame Doyle's the other day, being permed? Yes, and I asked the man to wave my hair at you. Well, I was being girly cured at the time. Manny cured? No, no, a woman did it. Um, do you have your nails filed? No, darling, I had them thrown away. Do you ever have your nails red? No, only my hands. Which reminds me, well, now, the other day, a palmist told me I had wonderful headlines. Oh. Hmm. Did she give you any other wrinkles? Oh, yes. <laughs> she told me something about you. Oh, really? What was that? She said I was very tolerant. Oh. She also said I had a long life. Up to now, dear. Now, I prefer phrenology. Oh, yes, phrenology. I've had my head red. Yes, and black and platinum. What's your real colour, darling? Ignoring her, Mrs. Winterbottom continues. He said I liked a good joke. Yes, I've met him. Oh, did he tell you anything about illness? My palmist told me to keep away from the wet. Yes, I've met him, and I should. Uh, keeping her temper... Mrs. Murgatroyd carries on. Alarmingly. And furthermore, he said I was going on a long journey to a hot place. I could have told you that, dear. <laughs> Mrs. Winterbottom. Yes? If you're passing at any time, please do. Uh, Good goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye darling. <laughs> goodbye. 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 <laughs>